Welcome back into mathematics activate colleges exam preparations. Okay, so question 2.1 said given the following algebraic expressions. Okay, we need to factorize each of the above expressions. So the first expressions um it says we are given a squared minus six a b plus nine b squared nine b squared okay so here you you are giving a trinomial so um i'll, I'll, I'll try to do it here so to trace it you you'll see okay this is our, our first one you'll come and see you open one bracket uh, and then you open another bracket here. So what are the factors of A? So the factors, what are the factors of A squared? So you have got uh, A and A and A. So you come here on the last term, the B squared. So what are the factors of B squared? So you have got B and B. Okay. So from here, now we go to this nine. So what are the factors of nine? And then those two factors, when you, when you add them, they'll give us the middle term. They'll give us negative six. So, um, so factors of nine, we've got uh, this side, we've got three. And uh, three this side. Okay, so now here is positive. You know, the A is positive. It means that when we multiply this, 3b and 3b, it should give us positive. So the positive, so negative, I can write here, negative multiplied by negative it gives us positive. And the positive multiplied by positive, it gives us positive. So here the answer is we are going to take the, 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 the negative, the negative one. You have to be careful here on the on the sign, guys. You, you have to be careful that at the end. Um, you can also prove, you know, to say when I when I let me change the let me try to change the the color here. Um, for you to prove, you you will come and say, um, okay, let me change the color for us to prove. So you, you take this value, you, you you do the foil. We call it a foil. So you take this value, you apply it with the one in there second bracket, and then you also do the same here. This and this and this. That's when you are you are proving that to say A and A is going to give us A squared, and then um, A and minus B, it will give up minus three AB, and then minus three AB here, and then negative and negative three B, it will give up positive nine B squared. So we are done with the first one, okay? So let me change back my color. Yes, um, on the second one, it says we have to factorize a squared minus nine b squared, right? So here we, we call it the difference of squares. So this difference of squares, normally the rule, um, it says a squared minus, you remember this, a squared minus b squared, and then which is um, equal to, you open one bracket and the other bracket. Uh, so here you leave a, and a factors of a squared. And then here, factors of b, you've got um, factors of b, you've got b here, and b this side. And then it will be minus and plus, as always. So here we come and do the same. So we, we're going to have um, the first bracket, uh, and then the second bracket here, right? Okay, I said this is the difference of squares. So here, what are the factors of a squared? I've got my a here, and then I've got my a here. So what are the factors of b squared? So we have got b and b, right? Okay, so what are the factors of nine? So I've got my three this side and my three this side. You can do it this way. So, um, so I said the, 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 the sign will be plus, and minus, you know, it doesn't matter. It can be plus and minus. 
right? So this difference of squares. So when you when you have got a squared plus b squared, right? This will never equal to. This is no longer a difference of squares, right? This will never equal to to that. Are we together? Okay. So you 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 can also prove here. Let me just show you the foil. Change the color. Yes, um, it's to say um, the first one will come and multiply the second bracket, right? And then the second term will multiply also the second bracket like that. So when you take a and a, it will give you a squared and the a. It will give you a squared and then a and negative three b it will give you negative three b, negative three a b and then positive three a, positive three b multiplied by a, it will give you positive three a b, and then positive and negative is negative nine b squared. So whereby the 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 the, the, the negative three a b plus three a b will cancel out. It will give you zero. Okay. Um, let's go to the third one. So here you have you have got a squared minus three a b. So here you have got the like terms. Yeah, you, you have got um, rather say you have got the factors. So you've got a and a variables. You've got the same variables. So we can take up the the the, the variable. Uh, basically, this is factorization by taking up the common factor. Okay. And then now it's going to be, you come and say you've got E as a common factor into, you will remain with E, right? And then minus this one here is sort of dividing by A. So you divide everything by A. So you are going to have minus three B, right? And then that should be your answer. Okay, on the let's go to the last one. I said this is the common factor, and this is the difference of squares. So the last one um, is more related with the first one. So it's, it's um, it says three a squared minus six a b minus nine b squared. Right, so we, we have to factorize this. I said this is a trinomial. These trinomials are, are normally given by a x squared plus uh, b x plus c in, in sort of a quadratic expressions, you know, uh, and you know, and also we've got the polynomials and the likes. So here you come and say you've got two first bracket and the second bracket. Okay, so. Here, what are the factors of 3a squared? So you have got 3a here, you have got 3a, and then here you will have a, isn't it? And then what are the factors of b squared? The factors of b squared, you have got b here, and then you've got b here. So what are the factors of nine? And then those two factors, when you add them or subtract them, they should give you negative six, the middle term, right? So now it will be nine and one, isn't it? It will be nine and one. Such like that when you add the two or subtract the two, it should give you the middle term. So here you'll have a nine, and then you'll have one here, you know, nine and one. It gives us nine by one gives us nine. So here you will have um in terms of a sign normally because this is nine is here normally i will put negative here you know on the big expression and then here because it's a small expression is a and the coefficient of one i'll put a plus that's how I normally do this okay so you 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 can come and proof again here you know um Okay, so now here you you have got uh, we're simplifying these expressions. So here you have got um, your your expression in the form of um, quadratic. So we can factorize this 
it will be like one bracket and the other bracket. Okay. So what are the factors of a 5x squared? You have got your 5x here, and then you've got your x this side. Okay. And then what are the factors of eight? You have got four and two, right? You have got four and two, of course. And then negative is negative. It means that we will have um, positive and negative. So the negative should come here to decrease this number. Then here it will be positive. Okay, all over by. So here you can also come and take the common factor out of of three. It will be three into x plus two. Okay, here is very important. So here is divide. So you have to change this divide division into multiplication, and then when you change that, right, the denominator it will become the numerator, and the numerator will become the numerator. Okay, denominator will become numerator, and numerator will become denominator. Okay, so now here you you will have um, this expression on top, right? Okay, so you can come here and also take out three. So first you can come and start by taking out three. So we'll be left with x squared, right? Minus, minus four. Are we together? So now, and then underneath here, you can come and take out um, the common factor of two, you know, the lowest, you take two, so you left two into 25, right? 50 divided by two is 25, what x squared? Okay, and then 32 divided by two, it will give you minus 16, right? Okay, and then multiply by two all over by x minus two. Okay, so here you will notice that we have got x plus two, so this and this can cancel out. I mean, to say this can and this can cancel out. So when this cancels out, we, we have got to are left with um, we are left with five uh, x minus four all over by three, isn't it? Um, so this, this, this was in sort of a bracket here. Let me write the bracket, multiply by. So here we've got difference of squares. So I can say three into one, two, three, uh, four. So what are the factors of X squared? I've got my X here, I've got my X here. And the factors of four, we've got two here and two here. And then it will be, I said it will be plus and minus, right? All over by what? All over by two. So here is still the difference of squares again. So two into, we open the brackets again. Is the difference of squares. So here I will have my factors of 25, I've got my five X and my, 5x, right? Are we together? And then factors of 16, factors of 16 here, I've got my four and my four. I said this is the difference of square. So if this is the, if this is the difference of squares, I said we'll have minus and plus, right? I will have minus and plus, doesn't matter. Okay, multiply by, two over x minus two. So you will notice now again that I've got another common factor of five x minus four, five x minus four. So this will marry each other, now the end item. Okay, so I'll be left with, so you will also note that here I've got x minus two. So this x minus two and this x minus two will also go, right? So meaning that I'll be left with um, three, I'll be left on the numerator, I'll be left with three multiplied by two. 
into x plus two, right? All over by this three here, three multiplied by two into this one here, into five x plus four, right? So here I'm going to have six into x plus two, all over by six into five x plus four, right? Six and six will go for simplifying. So I'm left with x plus two, all over by five x plus plus four, right? Okay, let's go to the last one. Okay, the last one, we've got three over three minus x minus x over six plus x minus x squared. So here we can come and see, um, we've got three all over by three minus x minus, okay, x, over by, so here you've got this expression, quadratic expression. So you, you can come and say you've got one bracket and then other bracket here. So what are the factors of six? Factors of six, you've got three and two, right? So here you've got your three and then you've got your two, right? And then what are the factors of x squared? So here I've got my x and my x. So the sign to give me the middle term. Okay, so here you will put your negative and then this side will be your plus, right? Posit negative and negative over by positive should give you the negative, this negative here. And then when you add this, when you, when you do the foil, it should give you the middle term, right? Okay, so you have to be careful here on the, on the, on the sides. So from here, you have to ask what is the LCD? So you, your LCD, so here you were this one. So for this to be the same as this whole expression, you have to come here and multiply by one, right? But that one, it will be in the form of, the, the one will be in the form of two plus X, right? Over two, plus x so that the denominator will be will be the same right so this two plus x plus two divided by two plus x is one in other words right okay so now you have three multiplied by two plus x right all over by two plus x into three minus x, right? Minus x over three minus x into two plus x. So you can now see that we've got the same denominator. So if we've got the same denominator, we can write the same denominator here to say that we have got two plus x is our common denominator into three minus x, right? So here you just come in and and and, uh, and uh, distribute here. So three multiplied by this, it will be it will give us um, it will give us six plus three multiplied by x is three x, and here we've got negative negative x minus x, right? Okay. So here we still have got like terms. Three minus x should give you how much? Uh, two. So it's going to be six plus two x. Are we together? All over by the LCD. So if this still, so you can still simplify if you can, you know, plus x, then here you get three minus x, right? So you can still simplify if you, you can. Okay, I, I will do the next question.